Morning. Holy cow. It is nine o'clock in the morning. And uh it's 34 degrees right now. <laughs> it's cold. It is really, really cold. I gotta shut the gate. I gotta let the animals out. Ugh. But I thought today I'd go ahead and, uh, whew, son, I can't see where the camera's at. Go ahead and um, give you guys a winter tour since uh, we had our first cold spell. Um, now, today it's supposed to get up to 74 and then the rest of the week the temperatures are going back up into the nights in the 50s and the days are in the mid 70s. But um, we actually got some frost and uh, so I'm kind of worried about some of the plants, but I'm going to go around and we're going to take a look at everybody and everything. So first I got to go back, back there and uh, take care of the animals. And I see Bonnie's already up on the stand bellowing at me. <laughs> so let's go see everybody. Good morning guys. Everybody survived the cold? Oh, you guys are doing good. <laughs> oh my goodness, I heard you. Um, good morning. Good morning. Hey guys. Show all the animals. Lydia, that's not for you to stand in. Hi, Bonnie girl. What are you doing, Lydia? Let's see. How's everybody doing over here? Hi, baby boy. Good morning, guys. All right. Let me see if I can spot Mrs. Turkey. All right, Mrs. Turkey. I see her in there. She has not moved. She's keeping her eggies warm. And there's Clyde boy. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get everybody fed. Everybody looks good. Hi guys. So let's do that really quick here. All right, now that everybody's quiet, because everybody's eating, let's take a look what we got here. Now, Donald is calling this our mini food forest area. It's under an oak tree. Um, got the strawberry plant. We got the toro. Uh, the coffee plants to find. This is a passion fruit. And we got several of the uh, dragon fruits also growing. Some pineapples. Some of the smaller bananas. We got that, I believe, is turmeric. And we also have ginger growing. And... That's the ginger over there. It's dying back because of the frost. Miracle fruit, a mango, Jacopo cava. Um, I mean, these leaves are huge compared to my hand. Look at that. It's like a dinosaur. And there's the coffee plants. And then we found out that this big papaya is a male. We're going to keep it because there's two more over here growing and they're smaller. So we're hoping one of these might be females. And if so, then the male flowers will help propagate, but we're just going to let them grow. And then this is, oh, there's an Iggy. This is the plant, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, Everglades tomato. And it has sprung out to where it is on top 
of the netting. This whole thing is covered. This whole netting oh, right here, it, it, it's like 20 feet long. And you can see it's it's producing. I don't know how it, well it's gonna do after the frost, kind of worried, but we're just letting it grow. Here, why not? But uh, yeah, there's a dragon fruit there growing up the tree. This um, oak tree, and there's uh, passion fruit on this side. We're using it both for coverage for the animals and also help um, with the ecosystem on the ground because it can protect these little bit more sensitive plants from the frost. Now, if it's a freeze, that's another that's another thing. Um, then over here, we have another, I believe this is the strawberry tree branch that we cut and it's still, it's growing. So we're letting it grow. And then over here, we had a papaya sh or a pineapple show up. This is a blue hydrania. So we're just letting some things grow. And then the goose. No name for him. He's still a little bit of a butthead. Putting it nicely. Huh. But I think he's going to make a really good guard goose. I keep having to put him in his place. He will come up to me and try and bite me. And I have to put him to the ground. Huh. Yes. And you'll be nice. But he's got blue eyes. He's really pretty. And since we're getting more geese, we've got two males. We just need a couple of females, and I think we'll be able to then start producing our own geese here. Yeah. So let's let Stupid's crew out. Hi, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Come on. Y'all afraid of the camera. Why? Why are you all afraid? Here. Will it help if I back out? <laughs> Always the last one. <laughs> Hi. All right, I'm going to go on the tour, okay? Are we cool? Yeah, we're cool. Yeah, you guys seem to be doing okay. Looks like the tomato plant made it. We were kind of worried that that would get frostbit. Um, as you can tell, almost everything made it. We did cut down two banana trees before uh, the cold weather set in, just in case. But there's the ice cream bananas. Uh, we're going to be moving these guys here soon because they don't get enough sun during this summertime. Um, cassava, there's a rabbit right there. Hello, Mr. Bunny. Oh. Little brown bunny. We have a family of them and I know they live past the uh, ditch over here. So, that's okay, Mr. Bum Bunny. I won't harm you. But uh, this is Food Force 3. The weeds are finally dying back. We found moringa growing. Um, everything here looks good. Um, the lemongrass is going in the seed. Here. This is the Myers lemon, and then we got the lime tree over there. So, hopefully, once this dies back a little bit more, I can get into it and we'll be able to uh, get them taken care of. Um, we have two new banana racks. Oh, they look like they survived. This is the avocado tree. Looks like that survived. I think with the uh, banana leaves protecting it. Um, this is going into the um, old flock pen that we have for the geese and the ducks. Um, 
we're just letting it rest and as you can tell the grass is great in here oh my goodness this is really taking off this is the back side i do know this is a beautyberry bush and as you can tell here this is the back side of it oh we got a banana bloom look at that got another one our, for some reason, our bananas like to produce in the fall and winter time <laughs> instead of like summertime. Loquat did good. I'm gonna come over here and check. <sighs> Haven't come out here in a while, so looks like these are all good. But yeah, I can't believe how green this is. Wow. Got some cleaning up to do, but normally this is always flooded. My flags, my poor flags. I'm gonna have to order more. Um, yeah, it's almost like carpet grass. Okay, so try not to get you guys in the sun here. We've been burning our cardboard and using that with the dirt. We got another banana bloom there. These guys seem to be doing okay. It looks like some of our potatoes, there's some patches where the frost got to it. It looks like it didn't get to everybody, but like here, that's all frost damage, all that brown. But yet the rest of it is doing fine. Um, not sure about our our yard our asian yard long green beans which as you could tell there's a bean there but it's taken months for it to produce beans so i don't think this experiment's going anywhere might have to pull them out bananas look good there um looks like my uh butterfly pea did okay and it looks like this volunteer tomato holy cow it is gone nuts this is incredible i want to say i think this is the another ever everglades but i mean i'm gonna have to oh well roll with it we don't have anything in the tires i got my buzz button over there it looks like it's doing okay Here's the bok choy. We'll have to harvest that. That cilantro looks like it's uh, with some carrots. There's more carrots there. We got bananas, banana trees. These carrots seem to be doing okay. As the weather got colder, they seem to have come back to life. So I don't know. There's the pineapples. They look like they did okay. Um, Looks like this particular tomato plant made it with no problems. Oh, that sun's gone. Yeah, look at all those tomatoes in there. Awesomeness. I'm excited. All right, I'm going to unplug the heater because uh, we heated the greenhouse. Uh, we only do it when it's going to be below 45. Um, so... And then here is our soon-to-be uh, banana area. We're going to be growing bananas all up in here. Our banana nursery. And then we got another bloom there. Um, these guys seem to be doing okay. All right, let's go in here. All right. Looks like my moringa did okay. We got a little banana here. We got lemongrass growing with uh, sweet potatoes. Um, let me see if I can get into here. All right, greenhouse. We got lots of things going on. Oh, it's nice and warm. I'm gonna shut the door. Uh, I'm not gonna try and get in here all the way because it is raining. But as you can tell, we have still lots of plants that are still being potted up and growing and cutting and we've gotten grapes and mulberries going 
Uh, looks like the mangoes are doing good. So, everything's uh, doing great in here. And we got some new, new little starts going. So, that's a good sign. All right, and behind here, looks like these bananas did fine. New leaves are coming out. And then here is our loquats. And this, this tree is full of loquats. It's almost like a fake spring. Uh, this tree's kind of loaded down. Dang. I can't wait to get more of these. Um, but Laura's um, sugar gliders will love the loquats too. We'll share with her them. Um, blackberry bush has been producing slowly. We've actually gotten several blackberries from it. And let's go out here. All right, let me grab some more sweet potatoes. It looks like the younger vines got hit hard with the frost because this has been there for a while and see how it's nice and green. Um, so it looks like that didn't really get any damage. Here's the other side of the blackberry bush. And I have to put the, put the bush up because my chickens have figured out, oh look, there's berries and they go after the berries. So I've had to weave it. <laughs> Um, over here, we got another low quad. We haven't cleaned up this area yet, but um, that's the blueberry trees. Um, the ones that we planted have seemed to be doing really well. The ones that were given to us, uh, looks like they've all died back. More lemongrass. Um, the grapes. Here is my bay leaf tree. Um, looks like the bamboo did okay. I was kind of worried about the bamboo, but bamboo has been established. We got a total of three. One, two, and the other one's over here. It creates like a hedge. So we'll have some, uh, hopefully it'll suppress some of the weeds too. Um, that's my birch tree. That's gone in hibernation. This is the Pakistani mulberry. And... Just to show you, we already have mulberries growing. That's how crazy this winter has been here in Florida. Uh, curry leaf, there's banana trees all in here. Um, this is a, this is the LSU fig. And then we have the brown turkey, which we tried to cover up with the mulch and stuff to save it. I don't know if it'll be saved. Here's another mulberry, another banana. Got my jasmine. This is the Mona Lisa. And for some reason, normally they push out pups. This particular banana tree did not push out any pups, um, but it produced a rack. So we're just going to go ahead and run with it. We cut back this mulberry. Um, here is the bananas on the front side of the house. Um, there's a hibiscus that survived. We cut back the uh, fire bush. Uh, fire bush normally die back after the first frost. We went ahead and got it cut back and we used its own leaves. So it will, one, protect the roots so it'll grow back for next year. And then two, it will be free mulch. Always chop and drop if you can. We cut back the Mexican sunflower um, again for the same reason um, but we left a little bit here because we like to sit out here and if there's not a car part um, it, it's one of those where the neighbors can watch what we're doing so it's just you know we created this to be our little seating area. Here is another mulberry don't know which one this is, but um, it's just a regular mulberry. 
and uh, we cut a lot of the tiny limbs off made sure all the limbs that are out here is growing up we're probably going to cut this down and um, that way it can bush out more I lost my comfrey I'm so sad I actually really liked that comfrey plant um, this is a well I think it was a lemongrass <laughs> And then over here, there's that low quad tree, but um, this is the uh, banana tree. We're waiting for this to get better before we can chop it down. And then more banana rows. A lot of this um, bananas were um, strategically placed to provide shade for our house. So that is why we have a lot of them around this side of the house and around the front because during the summertime in the afternoon the sun is right over here it comes and goes right here so it really does heat up the house but with a new roof on um, we're hoping that will help for the season coming up and then now that these banana trees are producing pups and growing the way they should We'll have added um, extra shade, and then that goes out to the animals, so Donald's grills. <laughs> All right, guys, that's the winter tour here for us here in Florida. Um, I hope that where you're at, you're safe, you're warm, and we're going to be really excited to see what everybody's going to be growing come this spring. All right, we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.